Hey guys, it's been 9 months since we started this little planted ecosphere. This was my first attempt and there are definitely things that I did that I liked and things I did wrong. It was a very nice and simple learning experience, not to mention no maintenance and relatively cheap. The setup has inspired quite a few people to try it themselves, including a grandma and her granddaughter who emailed me to tell me how much fun they were having. Well, let's start off with some bad news. Remember the female buried shrimp we put in here, Sven? Some of you guys told me that it was a male name. I completely knew that, but I still named her Sven. She disappeared a couple months in, and I think it's safe to assume that she did indeed pass away. My hypothesis is that there was enough oxygen being produced, but not enough food. This is the first learning experience for me. It may not have been the best decision to put floaters into the jar. I thought, what could a couple little pieces of salvinia and duckweed do? Perhaps they would help the excess nutrients and grow fast. Well, it turns out it did grow fast, and it dominated every other plant and kept all the algae away. Algae that Sven desperately needed to survive. Not to mention all the stem plants were choked off by the floaters too. The pearlweed managed to shoot vines up to try and get some light, but most of it is gone as well. If I were to do this again, I would definitely think hard about those floaters. Perhaps I'll open the ecosphere regularly and remove floaters that grew too much. The only other plant that is also thriving seems to be java moss. Java moss is quite good at adapting to new conditions given a long period of time, especially to low light, stagnant conditions. The tiny ram's horn was also nowhere to be found, but Albert the pond snail is still chilling. It grew a tiny bit, but definitely not as big as a pond snail could have gotten by now if it had access to more algae and other organics to eat. Aside from Albert, there's some tiny worms wiggling around and copepods swimming about. Alright, well, moment of truth, let's open it up. It's pretty cool to see all the plants doing what they can to get a slightly better spot in the light. And if you were wondering, it doesn't really smell like anything. Maybe slightly like a damp forest, whatever that smells like. You can see the java moss trying to climb and it's super interesting to see what salvinia looks like in immersed high humidity growth. The leaves are so big and the white hairs are growing like crazy. If I saw this in nature, I might have thought it was some species of fungus, not a plant. It would be interesting to see how this would have played out if I didn't put any floaters, or if I had a divider for floaters so that they can't completely take over. Perhaps there would have been enough algae growth along with the other plants so that more fauna can survive. I may try again in the future, but for now, this 9 month old ecosphere has been opened once today. I'm not sure when it will be opened again, but the ecosphere will continue on indefinitely. I wonder what it'll look like in a few more months, or maybe even a few years. There's something exciting about something so simple. Just add time. <laughs>